Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm Sharice and today's video I will be showing you my way of making quick and easy scrunchies. So today I went out and it was super hot and I decided to wear my hair out. Major mistake. And so I didn't have anything to put my hair up in one and I decided, you know what, when I get home I'm going to make some matching scrunchies. So I wore a chambray dress that I made today which is from the Galavante pattern and I made it with this cute chambray material, very light, very airy. The dress is, it has a lot of movement and so it is going to be my go-to summer dress. So I decided why not make some matching scrunchies out of some scrap fabric. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. A very quick and easy how-to slash tutorial slash here's how you make scrunchies. So I will be taking some scrap material, like I said, and just making a quick, easy, nice scrunchie to put my hair up in one with. So let's go to the cutting table. Okay, so now I've cleaned up the fabric a little bit. I am going to be using um, just some scrap fabric in this um, nice blue chambray material that I use to make my gallivanting dress. It is pretty light. Um, I like how it feels. And just because I had a lot of scraps left, I thought to make a matching scrunchie. So the dimensions of this piece of fabric is, I think it's like 24. And I did it to, what did I do it to? So this is 24 by, by 5. So this is going to make kind of um, a bulkier scrunchie um, and so yeah so now that I've already cut out my piece what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to pin pin it together so it's going to form a tube kind of so before I start pinning this I'm going to leave two inches of the fabric open that I'm not going to sew together just so I can flip over when I'm done so I'm going to do I'm going to mark one inch on each side of the uh, the material. So it's gonna, I'm going to leave a one inch opening here and a one inch opening on the opposite end so I can flip this over and insert my elastic when I'm done. So I'm going to measure out my one inch. I mean, you can freehand it, but I don't, I'm not the best at freehanding. So I'm going to do a one inch. I'm going to measure one inch and I'm going to put stick a pin right there so I know where to start and stop. And then on the other end, I'm going to do the same thing. Measure my one inch and insert my pin. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and pin the rest of the fabric together so I can sew it up. So now I'm just going to stitch my scrunchie together with a straight stitch starting at that one inch point. Pop it out. Don't forget to back stitch. off with a back stitch and then you of course put the grids so this is how my scrunchie tube looks post sewing so remember you leave this one inch open in at both ends and this is how my scrunchie looks so far so the next step is to flip the scrunchie over to the right side if you're doing a thinner scrunchie you can use a safety pin to assist. I don't think I'm going to need one just because this is a bit bigger. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need one. So I'm just going to flip it over using my fingers. I mean, I could use a pin, but it's not ne absolutely necessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to match each of the open ends with the other. And we're going to pin it and then stitch it. So you keep going all the way around.
Okay, so now I'm going to take it to the machine and stitch it across. And it's going to be, this is how it looks right now, kind of crazy. But I'm just going to stitch it across and we're going to shut. Well, basically we're connecting the two tubes. Well, the one tube that's not on sale. So after I sewed the two ends together, you have this little opening right here, which is going to serve us to put your elastic in. But we're almost there. We're almost there. So this is basically one loop. So this is my quarter inch of elastic, and this is going to be seven inches. So now I'm going to I'm going to attach a pin, or you can use a bodkin if you have one. And I'm going to insert this into the scrunchie through the opening that is right here. So now that I have both ends of the elastic together, I'm going to now sew them together with a zigzag stitch. The only step that I have left is to close up this little itty bitty hole right there. Can you see it? So I'm going to be closing up this hole. We're going to stitch this small area just shut. That's all we're going to do and that's going to finish our scrunchie. And it's so simple, so easy, and your hair will love it. Bam! If you enjoyed this scrunchy tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow this channel for more, I don't know, crazy adventures in beginner sewer. I'm Sharice, and thank you guys for watching.